All right, so let's take a look at um, what the padding is inside of inside of when we're working in Dreamweaver. All right, so we come in and I want to stylize this header a little bit more. Now, what you could do with the header too is you could go in and um, you know create a back an image an image in Photoshop in Fireworks and bring it on in. But here I have my header. And you can find that once you have something highlighted, you can come on into your properties panel and I could bring it over to my CSS panel and it will actually open it right up. So here is my header. And I want to edit this just a little bit here. I want to come on in and I'm going to come on into the type. Okay. And I could set the font uh, family if I'd like. I come on into the font size and let's actually see. Let's see what this looks like. 36. All right. That's actually pretty good. I'm going to actually come on in here and make this 30 apply. Okay. Now what about if I want to move it down so it's a little bit more in the center? How would I go about doing that? Well, I can come on in to the box. Now the margin is going to be the area around. So for instance, this is the left margin, this is the right margin. When we work with the padding, it's going to be the area inside of the box. Inside of the box. And let's just say if I hit auto for all these. Okay, auto is not a standard pro property for the padding. So what we could do, let's come on in and do five here. Now, what's going to happen though is you're going to see that the whole thing is going to get bigger. So sometimes if you add that, what you might want to do is deduct that from the height, for instance. Okay, so see how it's starting to get center. Now I'm going to maybe do another, I'll do another, I'm going to change this. I'm going to keep it the same for all and I'm going to put it up to 10. So you'll see that the whole thing gets bigger. So if I come on in, if I wanted this to actually be 60, I would need this to be 40 in the height and that would be, that would actually then add 10 to the right and 10 to the left. The padding is inside of here. Now, let's say that I wanted to move this over um, so it was more, so it was more centered. Uh, and if it was an image, it'd be actually pretty easy to center it. You could just come on in and center it on your properties panel if it was an image. But what I would need to do here is look more with this type of working with some padding to push it over. So what I could do is I could come on in and I could add my padding to the left. So I'm going to unclick this and on the left, I'm going to move it over 20 more pixels. I'm going to put this up to 30. Okay, you'll see that the, the whole shape gets a little bit bigger. So we can play around with it and put it up. Again, the whole shape becomes bigger. If I put this up to 60, I hit apply. All right, and there we have it. So we can start moving things over just a little bit more. I'm going to hit OK. And then, you know, I could just work with the type and give this a name. Okay, um, let's take a look and see how it looks. All right, so we can see, you know, it has it actually has an, a decent, clean look to it. We hover, we come on over here. Who knows, maybe I actually would come on in and change the color um, and the purple might be a little much, um, but there we have it coming on in, working with with um with with uh Dreamweaver and in particular focusing in on our the padding difference between the padding and the margins in this video thanks so much